because each Firecracker VM gets its own kernel, there's effectively no way to escape the sandbox of a micro VM. Whereas in a traditional container setup, if you were running untrusted workloads, the only security boundary between the containers and the host operating, operating system kernel is it can be violated by you know, one vulnerability or one bug in that in that layer, whereas VMs, you know, provide a much higher level of isolation. So that's kind of on the on, on the on the security side of, of the aisle. But we also isolate these these VMs across three axes: CPU, network, and and disk. So for a, a VM that only requires two vCPUs to run a small um, lint job of some sort, we'll use C groups to isolate their CPU utilization to that. We will apply additionally an IO throttler where when these, these VMs need to use up the IO, they, they get access to the underlying host's full capacity, but, but that there's some fairness across VMs when a lot of them are trying to use the host's underlying IO at the same time. And um, as, I, as I mentioned before, they're all sort of in their own network namespace, in their own private subnet. 